Amid eruptions of anti-Semitic attacks in New York City, 3 News investigator Rachel Polanski set out to track incidents right here in but Northeast in Ohio. If instead of numbers, she actually found attacks underreported or misidentified, and police reluctant to label some cases as hate crimes. Anti-Semitism comes in many forms. We heard what sounded like Jew. Jew. It often starts with hateful rhetoric like this Moreland Hills woman experienced. And he did the Heil Hitler salute. Or the spreading of propaganda, like this flyer posted at the Maltz Museum of Heritage in Beechwood. There was a flyer who was denying the Holocaust. And it can turn into action, like vandalizing this Lorraine synagogue. Someone noticed on our back door that someone had uh, etched in a swastika. Or murder like killing 11 people at this Pittsburgh synagogue. You were in the Tree of Life synagogue when that gunman opened fire. What was that like for you? Surreal, as though, is this really happening? The mass shooting at Rabbi Jeffrey Meyer's synagogue was the single worst attack on American Jews. Until you've experienced it, there's nothing that you can compare it to. We wanted to know, is anti-Semitism really on the rise? Three News requested incident reports from local police on hate crimes, and most had none. We were told that investigators do not typically mark incidents as hate crimes. For example, a spray-painted swastika might be classified as vandalism, not as a hate crime. And that feeling, I think, has affected our, our entire community. James Pash works for the Anti-Defamation League, a Jewish nonprofit that specifically tracks anti-Semitic incidents. In Ohio, the ADL has recorded a steady increase from 18 incidents in 2016 to 42 in 2017 to 49 in 2018. We are seeing statistically on the ground what we are all feeling in the environment, which is a spike uh, of anti-Semitic behavior, attitude, and incidents. The FBI also tracks hate crime data, but 3 News found that their numbers don't match those of the ADL. An FBI spokesperson said it's because they collect data differently. Pash has his own theory about the discrepancy. Underreporting is happening on multiple levels. It's happening uh, because on some level, because cities aren't turning over information, but it's also happening because people are not always reporting hate crimes. Police do not have to report hate crimes to the FBI, and 3 News found that many don't. In fact, 92 large cities reported zero hate crimes or didn't report at all. The FBI could only gather what is sent to them. Meanwhile, a recent survey of 1,200 Jews found that eight of every 10 believe that anti-Semitism has increased. Well, one of three say they have avoided publicly displaying their Jewish identity. I was hesitant at first to put the menorah in the uh, window because I don't live in an area of high concentration Jewish populations. Josh Kramer, who lives in Ohio City, says that almost happened to him this past Hanukkah. It was that, that feeling of hesitancy struck me. But it was that same hesitancy that made him all the more proud to put his menorah in his window. And then get on a bus with other Clevelanders to march in New York City. We marched for no hate, no fear, to show our solidarity. Chanting among thousands of others. Because we wanted to do something, we wanted to be involved and show that Cleveland cares. A dramatic display of cross-faith unity because, as Rabbi Meyer says, because silence the is the biggest enemy. Because when we're silent, uh, these acts just continue. For a closer look at the anti-Semitic incidents that have taken place around us, including what happened and who's responsible, head on over to WKYC.com and click on the Investigations tab. Rachel Polanski, 3 News.